paperless movement, your productivity, your way. Hey everybody and welcome. Today we will dive into Miro, especially into the new AI application that we have inside Miro. I'm really excited to test this out. This is currently in beta. I'm happy that I'm one of the people who are able to test this and to share it with you guys. Before we go into Miro, I just want to show you on Miroverse that we have our iCore framework there and we will just quickly use this to show you where we place Miro inside our iCore framework, inside the productivity system. So you see, this is the iCore framework that we teach inside the Paperless Movement membership to help you guys set up your productivity system your way. And we want to look at Miro today and think about where we place this inside the iCore framework. So the iCore framework, for those who don't know what this is, is split into a personal part and a business part. And we think about where the applications are placed in our productivity system for business or personal use cases. So we have business project management, personal knowledge management, business knowledge management, and business project management. And considering Miro, how we use it in the paperless movement, we consider this being a satellite app. And satellite app means it's the surrounding out there. So it is not inside, which are the core apps. Core apps are apps that are hard to be replaced with other tools. These are the single source of truth. These are your project managers, your knowledge management, where you store all your data. And if you replace these apps, it's hard to replace them with anything new. But Miro is something I use since years for creative research, for actually establishing the ICO framework. Our course was built on Miro, all the concepts, and then it goes into our core apps. So for this reason, Miro is placed here for the business project and knowledge management. But I would also say it's placed on the other side for the satellite apps for my personal use. So whenever I need to do anything for my personal work as well, I'm using Miro. If you want to play around with the iCore framework on Miro, you just need to go to the Miroverse and search for iCore and you will find it there. But now without further ado, let's dive into Miro and let's test what we came here for, the AI. So I prepared some things here that I wanted to test and it's my first testing. So I didn't do any tests before. I just placed this here because I saw these are the things that they promote that this AI can do. And this is what we want to test today. Let's start with mind map. And I think this is really exciting because we saw AI coming to so many note-taking apps and we are aware of ChatGPT, GPT-4, and that you just write down something and you get a context-based result. For example, write a story, write a blog post or anything like that. What I'm really excited about on Miro, however, is there they actually leverage their tools inside Miro. So this means I'm not only able to provide text, I'm even able to create mind maps out of this and other things that you see later on as well. So here, for example, how to become more productive, okay, more general. And let's see what it comes up with this. So we get a, actually a proper thing. So there we go, identify goals, reduce distractions, take care of yourself, create a schedule and stay organized. And then it expands it already into create a schedule, plan ahead, schedule time breaks and so on. So now I think I, for example, a lot of set priorities and here I could now say expand with ideas or expand with topics. So let's, and with questions. So let's expand with questions first. Let's see what comes up before set priorities. There we go. Oh my God, this is a long list of things and it's always not set in stone. What I'm really excited about AI is how inspirational it is for me. Using it in business, coming up with ideas, brainstorming and then use it for my own work. And this is really how I think AI should be approached. So there we go. What is the most important factor to when setting priorities? Okay, these could be all, this could be a list of blog posts that we could now write in the paperless movement and answering these questions. But now let's pick out one of these questions and let's give this some ideas. What is the most important factor to consider when setting priorities? Time management, urgency of tasks, resource available, impact of tasks, level of demand. This is amazing, I think, the things that you have here. And now you could yourself expand this further into the ideas that you need. Maybe you remove a few that you don't need and so on. You see how quickly we were able to build here the mind map. I think this is really exciting and very well done. So as I said, 
What I really like, this is actually giving you the answers that you would get in ChatGPT as well, but already inside a mind map. And it doesn't stop there. If we go now to sticky notes, I could now use the sticky note here. Let's do the same thing actually, how to become more productive. And then let's see what happens when we click here and say add similar sticky notes. So now we can get different ideas, set specific goals, break down large tasks. And then we have a long list of things related to our how to become more productive. Okay, these are the results if you like. And now we could use and select all the sticky notes and you have to imagine being in a meeting, you have a brainstorming session, you collected all the sticky notes on your board with all the ideas from different people. You would select all of these, go your AI and then say summarize sticky notes. Boom, generating and there you go, you have one block time block, exercise priorities. But you have to imagine with actually proper context-based things that you have here. I think that's even more exciting to use them. All right, and then let's see when we say, when we collect other things, for example, bird, lying, home forest, for example. And I don't know, let's see what happens when we now click here and generate image. We can go here. Okay, while it's working, you cannot do this in parallel. Doesn't matter, there we go. That's actually a bird flying over a forest. Let's see what we get here. There we go. Isn't that amazing? Just out of these sticky notes, we get the images. And now I could click on the image and say, remove background. And we can do the same for the deer. And let's see, there we go. Now we have just our bird. And I can make this like this. And I already can enrich, uh, I keep saying the visualization of things make it so much more rememberable. And this is exactly it, right? I have sticky notes with text, they all look the same. By the way, inside the membership, there is a Miro deep dive. So it's a mini course, if you like, where I dive into how to use Miro for creative research. And there I show you how you use it actually. But now you see this, I think this is amazing. We can easily convert this into a different style, give it a different color, and there we go. And then we can connect it. This is why I really like using Miro. But this is all done out of AI. I didn't even leave Miro for this. We summarized it, we created sticky notes all with AI. Obviously, I have to go through this if it really makes sense. But again, to me, this is inspiration. I would now go in here and then click here. And then I say, I could add similar sticky notes so I get even more inspiration. It makes so much sense to have AI on a whiteboard and it's enriching your whiteboard, how you can use it. Well, let's do the code block actually. So we can add code blocks in Miro. So this is here on the side where you then say code. There you have a code block. You can also drag and drop this. So if you want to keep it in here, by the way, and then we can just write down, build a website that shows a button with the text, hello world, that link to ddbs.com. All right, so obviously this is no code, but you can select the code block, go to AI and say, generate code from natural language. And there we go. It is exactly this. There you got your link and it is just with the class button. And this is it. We could now go and test this, but we can now select the code, any code, and go here and say explain code and let's see what comes out. So it's exactly this. I like how it keeps the original prompt and creates the code, connects the things here, and I see the journey. I see the thought process. Even It even added a title on top. I think this is just amazing. And then Command K. So if you hit on a Mac, Command K, you will get a search and there you have Miro AI. So far, there's not much more. If you know more, then let me know in the chat or in the comments below after the live stream. But I think so far, we can be pretty excited for what is to come and stay tuned because we will keep you updated about this and I'll catch you up next time. That's it for today. Hit subscribe for the latest productivity advice and reviews. Ready for more? Join our paperless movement membership to start building your productivity system your way.